Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, bringing you another video today. Last video, I mentioned that I was going to be um, torquing down the head, putting the cams in and everything. Unfortunately, I did all that off camera. Didn't have a torque wrench, had to borrow one. I didn't really have time to film, so I got I torqued down the head, uh, put the cams in, cam gears, uh, reinstalled the timing belt, uh, did the intake manifold, put on my uh, turbo manifold, um, put on the valve covers. So, I mean, it, it pretty much looks like an assembled engine. I got some AN fittings. Uh, Probably install the turbo and we'll go from there. So, this is what I was talking about, guys. Um, everything's assembled. The head's torqued down, the cams are torqued down and in. Got the timing, timing belt reinstalled. Everything's in time. I did ceramic coat the um, turbo manifold, um, ceramic coat the dump tube. Um, I did get a precision wastegate uh, I don't know if I mentioned that in my previous videos I do have to install the hoses that go from here to here both there and there I did get a uh, black uh, 90 degree and fittings just the fittings though um, I'm waiting to get the hose um, I got the gasket for the throttle body finally so we'll be installing that uh, put the turbo on Put the downpipe on. Kinda, I, I got the oil drain line. Um, I gotta figure out the drain and I'll show you why it's not working out for me. Um, but as far as the water net goes, uh, they sell um, a piece that bolts up right here and it rotates this to down here. Instead of your hose going on right there, it angles it behind the alternator some of you may know this behind the alternator gives you more room for uh, intercooler piping I'm also getting um, uh, oil filter relocation kit so it's down here so I don't have to worry about spilling or fitting my hands down there and you know trying to change that so we are gonna Install these. Um, they're the breather, breather hoses from the valve covers. From valve cover to valve cover. From here to here. turbo goes um, I did have to get this plate uh, it is uh, the manifold is t4 and the turbo is t3 so the easiest thing I could do was buy a plate and um, you know drill the holes in it you have the bolts for the plate right here to the t4 and then you have the turbo to the plate with the t3 uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Got to do what you got to do. With the drain, I wanted to keep this, but um, it interferes with the manifold. Powder coat on my turbo is getting a little messed up from just mocking everything up, getting things together, so I might have to redo that. Plus, I may need a 90 degree cast aluminum pipe right here welded on because it's so close to the manifold, I don't want to mount my coupler. So now we'll um, install the downpipe real quick.
So some of you may wonder, be wondering why I'm assembling all this now and not waiting for it, waiting till the engine's in the car. To be honest, it's probably gonna be a while. You know, I still gotta get the transmission, uh, trying to get a fully built R154, uh, you know, all that good stuff. And it's gonna be a while, so I'm just assembling everything. I don't really know how the exhaust is gonna fit. See how the heater hose and this how close they're gonna sit. Obviously, I don't know exactly where the exhaust is gonna go when it's in the car. But, I mean, it could be right up against it or it could be over here where it's at. I mean, when I do try to put it in the car, I am gonna try to do it in one shot with everything on it. I've seen a lot of people install it without the upper intake and the just the turbo manifold on, so I might be in for a surprise, but I thought, why not try it? I may put it in though to get my catch can with the AN lines all fixed up and um, get, oh, once I get my uh, front mount for the car, I'm going to start the intercooler piping. That way when my transmission comes, I can bolt the transmission on, throw the engine in the car and everything's already pre-made so I can just install it. So now we're gonna, since those are installed, I can show you guys the sweet, sweet spark plug cover that one of my buddies painted for me. Shout out to him, because he always comes through when I need stuff painted. It looks so good. So good. So what I also did is I painted the, valve, the spark plug cover bolts. I didn't realize that there was one here and one on this other side. Um, I didn't realize that there was two there or else I would have done those two also. But they are black. Painted in gloss black. That way they go to go real good with uh, with the yellow. Looks so good. You can see black hardware in there. Looks so awesome. Love it. Um, I did get the AN fittings. I might have mentioned this earlier. But um, I just wanted to put them on. I don't have the hose yet because I'm waiting until the engine's... Because I'm going to put the engine in the car without the transmission. Just so, like I said, so I can mock everything up. Make sure everything fits and everything's good. That way it's easy, easy installation down the road. But I'm going to put these on just to see how it looks. This one's gonna interfere with this, these hoses, but I'm not sure when I run standalone if I'm even gonna need this sensor. Maybe, maybe not. So if I do, then I'll just make these hoses longer, figure out a way to route this like through them with, a, with these being longer hoses. I'm also thinking that these hoses, like I mentioned, I'll be able to use IS300 GE hoses, heater hoses.
Well guys, uh, that's it for today. I'm glad I got everything installed. I'll have to tweak with some stuff. I'll have to mess with that uh, drain hose right there. And I don't like how it's uh, silver either. I'll probably just get a new hose, black stainless steel uh, with black fittings. Get all that figured out, hopefully. Um, yeah, I want to there's a few things I want to order. Like I mentioned, I want to want to get that uh, coolant neck rotator so it sits behind the alternator. Uh, I want to get, I found um, radiator hoses for the GTE VVTi. Uh, so that's going to be cool. And they're actually high pressure silicone. So they're that gloss black silicone looking color. They look really nice. Same with the heater hoses. I found those too. They're also that high pressure silicone except i'll have to chop those ones up which is no big deal but yeah so i mean there's there's a bunch of stuff i need to get still and then um we'll install those but for now that's how that's gonna sit i think that's about it um i'll end this one here appreciate you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one later